Hi, I'm Susie. Welcome to Iron Deficient Chef. Climate change imminent and so much of the farmable land available covered in urban sprawl, it really makes me wonder what sort of food we're going to be eating in 50 years time and where that food's going to come from. Right now, scientists are researching ways to use tissue engineering techniques for food production. It's called in vitro meat and it's being hailed as a revolutionary edible scientific breakthrough. Theoretically, in vitro meat makes it possible for humans to eat any animal on the planet without actually killing a single creature. So you can see why some vegetarians are getting really excited about it. And in the future, when we're all flying around in space stations and you can grow your steak in a jar, well, you can see why that's going to be really popular. But this is not a new idea. In 1932, Winston Churchill said, In 50 years hence, we shall escape the absurdity of growing the whole chicken just to eat the breast or the wing by growing these parts separately. Well, as tempting as petri dish giraffe steak sounds, I think in 2058 when I'm offered textured vegetable protein or deep fried panda fillets, I know which one I'm gonna be eating. So Pam, what's the new neighbor like? Oh, well, she's very quiet. I mean, frankly, I'm about to give up. I've been trying all day to be nice, asking her questions, and she just keeps ignoring me. Rude cow. I have been watching Susie's food. Iron deficient chef. I just wonder what to that is. What is iron and what is deficient? <laughs> John and I are going to make a spaghetti bolognese using TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. And you're very excited about it, aren't you, John? This sounds like something a plumber would use. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Needless to say, this is the section where at the end I get to go, I can't believe it doesn't have meat in it. So you get this, I've got a cup full of TVP, you can buy it in the health food store. So you add that to some water. Bit of salt and then you just let that sit and soak up the water for like 20 minutes. I'm going to use fresh tomato in it instead of tin tomato and while you're doing that I'm just going to fry off the onion. And John do you cook much at home? All the time. Yeah? Kim and I share the cooking. Yes. Yeah, right. She's particularly her specialty are uh, uh, curries, all kinds of curries. And what's your specialty? My specialty is um, Thai food. All right. I used to be a vegetarian. My first wife was a vegetarian. Yeah? Obviously, I wanted to get on with Rose, and so I decided yeah. I'd become a vegetarian too. Anyway, so I was a vego for about three years. I was a lot thinner. Yeah. Oh, the funny thing was, though, I used to, I remember going and giving, um, giving blood at the blood bank, and the, and the um, woman took my blood and she tested it for iron and said, my God, you've got a lot of iron in your blood. You must eat a lot of meat. Did she really? Yeah, she did. Did you hear that? <laughs> Great. Now, John, this is what the TVP looks like after you've, after it's soaked and then you've rinsed it. So you rinse it in water and then you squeeze all the juice out. And then it's kind of thirsty and it'll soak up all the flavour in, in the food that you're cooking. Excellent. So the flavour it will soak up for us is the garlic that I'm adding now to the onions. Mm. Add the TVP. And then we can add all this tomato. And you don't add liquid to that? No, I'm going to add some tomato paste yep. and then I probably will add a little bit of the um, cooking water from the pasta because that's got all the starch in it, it's quite thick and it'll just um, bind it all together. They're organic, beautiful, they smell amazing. If they, if they weren't organic, what would they be? Oh, well, they are organic like they're vegetable matter but they're also organic like they've got no pesticides. It's salt, yeah, it's really good, isn't it? That was probably, I'd say, four tablespoons I put in then. Could you please chop up some of the rosemary for us? Thank nice you. guy. But you've got your own um, herb garden. I just have the rosemary. I have a kumquat tree, a fig tree. A kumquat tree? And you make kumquat jam? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got really? great kumquat jam at my house. If, um, oh. I should bring you some in, eh? Did you learn that from your granny? I did learn to make the kumquat jam from Grandma. And the, the batch I've got at the moment, Grandma and I made together. Drain the spaghetti. Mm. 
This is going to be our serving bowl. Spit it in. Beautiful. Oops, yeah. There you go, that's it. Nothing better than great ingredients, simple, voluminous. Spoon! I edible? cannot believe there is not meat in that. <sighs> Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>